So in this class, I want us to consider uh, the properties that are actually going to need, uh, like how a shunt parallel, which is can be considered as a parallel voltage regulator, operates, how the supply voltage is regulated, how is it regulated. As we can see from our diagram, the input that you will be having, which is the VN, is an unregulated not unregulated output from the rectifier and through this process the output is now a regulated dc so how okay so this is what you're gonna have guys as you can see i've got a zener diode used and a transistor which can be used in other textbooks. They can use Q to represent a transistor. So you can just gonna call it Q1 or T1 or just T to represent what? A transistor. We've got the base, the collector, and the emitter. The base emitter voltage, VBE, and the VZ of the Zener diode together here combined, forming what? These two, which is to VN. Okay, and not forgetting there's a series resistor, so you're gonna consider all that voltage. But we are not calculating anything because if we had to calculate, guys, there was gonna be a lot of calculation. But anyways, this is what how we're gonna have this part. How the supply voltage is regulated. How the supply voltage is regulated. One, you are going to need a proper selection of the Zener diode in such a way that the bias of VBE, this one, of the transistor that we are given there, is low enough to keep the transistor in an unsaturated condition. The bias is supposed to be considered. So the selection first. So let's consider. First part on the selection, the value. So that is the value of the Zener diode in that case, the value of the Zener uh, diode, which is uh, the Zener diode that is this one DZ, is selected, is selected in such a way. So this is E here in such a way in such a way that the bias uh, that uh, the bias which is our bias voltage VBE in that case VBE of the transistor is low enough A VBE of the transistor Like I said, the transistor, you can write Q1, you can write T1, depending on the source that you are using. So it is supposed to be low enough. It is low enough to keep the transistor. That is to keep the transistor in an unsaturated condition. In and unsaturated condition so that is the condition that you must have on the selection of the zen diode so the question is what if this increases what if the supply voltage increases what's going to happen to the diode the zen will remain constant but the Bias will increase at that moment. Okay, so if it's another condition that you must have, if the supply, if the supply voltage increases, if the supply voltage increases here, okay, the Zener. So we are going to see that the Zener voltage, uh, Vz will remain constant. Okay, so at that moment, it will remain constant, but 
VB is affected now by the best bias that we have there, which is our best uh, bias. Our VBE will increase. So an increase will increase VBE will increase as well. So there was an increase, that one is going to increase also, but it is of the Zen, which will remain at a constant. So you're going to say that the fall compensate. So this whole part is going to uh, compensate for the what? For the increase in supply. So this is going to compensate for the increase in supply voltage. And by doing so, and in this way, what is going to happen? In this way, the output voltage is stabilized. And in this way, the output voltage is stabilized. Output, it says the output voltage. So you're going to see that the output voltage is what? Stabilized. So that is the major part that you're going to have in this revision. They need you to at least understand this principle of operation that is happening on our shunt parallel uh, or our parallel voltage regulated can be shunt. It can be called a parallel shunt, uh, I mean, a, a, a parallel voltage regulator. So they can ask you to drop the diagram. This means you need to know your diagrams as well. They can ask you to explain from there. Present form of a diagram and explain. They can give you a diagram. Ask what is it that is happening on this diagram. So if you know that, okay, this is a shunt uh, voltage regulator, then the explanation will be easier because you know your explanation under the shunt uh, voltage regulator or a parallel voltage regulator. Let's just revise as many questions as we can uh, in our power supplies. And do not forget the calculations. It's not about theory. They are also calculations under power supplies.